za maji yetu ndamani kuanzia sasa hadi tamati jina langu ni Caroline Mugure nikisaidiwa na welekezi wangu ambaye ni Florence Simeo na Faith Selina Ekoto uchunguzi wa maadili na ufisadi wa kitaifa wa mwaka 2023 uliofanywa na tume maadili na kupambana na ufisadi ESC umetambua kuwa wizara ya mambo ya ndani na uratibu wa serikali ya kitaifa wizara ya uchukuzi na wizara ya elimu ziko mstari wa mbele katika ufisadi sadi zaidi ya hayo kaunti ya Busia, Baringo na Nairobi zimeorodheshwa kuwa zinazoathirika zaidi na ufisadi mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo David Oginde ametoa taarifa wakati wa uzinduzi wa ripoti hiyo jijini Nairobi akithibitisha mikakati madhubuti ya kukabiliana na ufisadi mwandishi wetu Felix Shako anatufungulia mtazamo wa kwa taarifa hiyo Wakati wa uzinduzi wa utafiti wa maadili na ufisadi wa kitaifa wa mwaka 2023 uliofanywa na tume ya maadili na kupambana na ufisadi ESCC katika makao yao makuu ya Nairobi Vincent Okongo mkurugenzi wa huduma za kuzuia alifichua kuwa wizara ya mambo ya ndani na uratibu wa serikali ya kitaifa wizara ya uchukuzi na wizara ya elimu zilitambuliwa kama sekta zilizoongoza kwa ufisadi The perception of most corrupt ministries Uh, we have the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government leading at 47.1%. We have the Ministry of Health following closely at 13.2%. We have the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing, Urban Development and Public Works at 5.8%. Ministry of Defense at 5.5%. Ministry of Education at 5.4%. And Ministry of Lands and Fiscal Planning at 5.1%. Aliongeza kuwa kiwango cha juu zaidi cha rushwa kilinakiliwa katika mamlaka ya kitaifa na usafiri wa salama na kiasi kikubwa cha hongo pia kilibainika katika mahakama na ofisi za serikali za county. Average bribe by institution you can see the National Transport and Safety Authority especially in the area of registration or transfer of vehicles, driving licenses and driving tests. Uh, was up there with uh, 81,801. In the judiciary, the issue of bailing arrested individuals and solving land conflict was following with 49,611. The Kenya Bureau of Standards Certificate of Compliance, 40,000. In county government offices, the various areas that attracted bribe over an average of 226,000 223 include solving land conflict, seeking government funds, bursaries, employment, business permits, public health clearance. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa ESC Twali Mbarak alisema kuwa ukabila na kuvunja sheria za trafiki na uendesha magari na umma ni miongoni mwa masuala yanayochangia kuongezeka kwa ufisadi. There is nothing called sensitivity. A public service commission has said some communities are overrepresented in government organizations. Mwenyekiti wa ESC David Oginde alisema kuwa tuma hiyo itazindua siku mia moja za mpango wa mabadiliko ya haraka ili kukabiliana na changamoto za ufisadi ambazo zitaanza mwezi wa Aprili tarehe 11 hadi mwezi wa Julai tarehe 11. Uzinduzi wa siku mia moja za uadilifu na tume ya ESC itakuwa hatua mbele kukabiliana na utamaduni wa ufisadi ambao umekithiri nchini Kenya. Nikiripotia dira ya tandao jina langu ni Felix Shako.